Roles and Permissions menu allows you to create restrictions on the preparer accounts for your tax office. Restrictions can be set for anything, including allowing the preparer to e-file returns or giving them access to run reports. You can create as many roles as you need for your office and customize them however you see fit. If you have additional preparers in your office, we suggest you set up roles before giving them access to their accounts. Let's take a look at how to set up a role now. Navigate to your configuration menu and choose Roles and Permissions. Select New Role. First, give your role a name. This can be anything that will help you identify this role later. Next, you'll notice there are three options to choose from. New Role, Copy from an Existing Role, and Copy from Template. New Role will start you with a blank slate, allowing you to build a custom role from the ground up. Copy from an existing role will let you start a new role with the options already selected from the role you created previously. This will make it easier for you to quickly create similar roles and modify them as needed. Copy from template will provide you with a starting point if you aren't sure which features to allow your preparers to have access to. These templates include admin, manager, preparer, and limited preparer. After you make your selection, click Create to access the permissions page. Regardless of which option you selected when you created the role, you'll be able to modify the permissions for your preparer before saving. Each permission is a different part of the program which your preparer will have access to. At the top, you'll see the name of the role you're currently editing and you'll have the ability to change the name if needed. For roles that have already been assigned to preparers, you'll have the ability to see the amount of users who currently have the role above the name. In addition to the number of users, you'll also see a list of usernames on the right-hand side of the page for everyone with that role. The permissions for the program have been broken up into sections to make them easier to find and modify from the list. For any permission you don't want your employee to have, simply uncheck the box next to it. This will remove access for that feature in the program. If you aren't sure what a permission controls within your tax office, you can hover over the question mark for a little more information. Certain menus within the program have been separated out into the Menus This Role Can Access section. If you don't wish for your employee to see that menu, just toggle the button to turn that menu off for the role you're editing. You'll get confirmation the menu has been removed by the strike through the text. You can also easily turn off access to all additional menus by clicking All Off. Once you have finished modifying the permissions to suit your needs, you'll save the role and choose Apply Changes. When you're ready to assign the new role, select the Back option to get back to the main role menu. Then select Assign. This will bring up a list of all employees within your office. Simply check the box next to the employee you want to assign the current role to. When you're done, click Apply Change and choose Back to Roles and Permissions. For any existing roles you need to edit, you'll click the Edit option. This will take you back into the role to modify the permissions. When you have finished and click Save and Apply Changes, those permission changes will immediately be applied to the preparers with that role assigned. The All Users option allows you to manage all employees in your office and their assigned roles. You can search all users by the employee name, which will automatically filter the list below. You can also filter by the different roles. To see inactive employees, just click the inactive users box. The eyeball next to the assigned role will allow you to quickly check which permissions have been applied to that role. For any permission that has not been allowed for that role, they'll appear with a strike through them. You can also quickly assign or reassign roles from this menu to your employees. Just be sure to click save after making any changes. Lastly, you have the ability to set a role as the default for your office. 
Doing this will automatically pull that role into the prepare setup menu when you're adding new preparers to your tax office. This will help save time creating new users if you use the same role for most of your employees.